why is broiler farming very profitable or why can broiler farming just like here be a very big loss to you my subscriber or you as a farmer we are here today to tell you when is the right time and what is the right time to invest in the broiler farming so that you can make a profit hey my subscribers my name is Antonio Innocent Mdongi I am a poultry expert up to master's level if you are new to our channel kindly hit the subscribe button we will always give you a success story we will always give you an educative class each and every week in poultry farming and we really apologize for being so busy and not being able to post frequently in the past few weeks well when you want to do broiler farming there are two things that determine the profitability of your farm when to invest and how to invest you cannot just start a broiler farm simply because you've seen your friends or other people doing it or you've read a success story of somebody in the newspaper then you say hey I also want to do an investment in the broiler business you could fail terribly and if you can make a profit and then you can just make it out of luck but now how then when then do we have to invest in the broiler so that we can make a profit there are things that you need to look at before starting a successful broiler chicken farm one is the market and the market makes you understand the dynamics of the business so that you can know when to do it so that you can make the biggest profit first identify your market segments why is it important broiler chicken only takes six weeks and they're ready if they eat or be taken care of for the sixth week and an extra day that extra day you are eating into your profit it's advisable that you dispose the birds by the time they hit six weeks therefore this brings us to seasons you need to be quite versed with the seasons understand the seasons and let me give you a practical example of how you can make a profit or a loss let's look at the festive season that is Christmas and that is uh, Eid and Easter you as a farmer when you want to target keeping the birds you target your birds being ready during these festive seasons in that you reverse you count from the reverse let's say from Christmas season up to New Year season you count from that time and reverse it to six weeks or seven weeks so that your birds you bring in your chicks to your farm targeting that by the time you get to Christmas or New Year your birds are already at six or five weeks depending on the fee that you're giving them that is a very very important tip when you're talking about broiler marketing and the opposite is true if you make a mistake and bring your birds for example in such a period that when the birds are ready it is at the middle of the fasting season, fasting period of the of the Eid or the Muslim fasting seasons or even the Christian fasting seasons during the Easter where will you sell the birds where will you sell the birds you will end up disposing the birds at very throwaway prices simply because the more you stay with them the more they eat your pocket in terms of feed water labor and medication and therefore the market is very very important what I've come to understand mostly about the East African market is when you keep your birds you find that such a period as January and February March if you get to have birds during this season you as a farmer you will fetch more profit why during January most parents focus parents focus on taking their children back to school and so most of the parents also are farmers they divert their resources to taking their children to school to tilling their land you know preparing for the year 
and therefore there's a deficit in production. So you as a farmer, you as a new entrant, you as a young entrepreneur in the broiler business, then this becomes an opportunity for you to do the business. Bring in your birds in a, in a way that in January around 10, 15, you have birds to dispose the market, and you'll find that the birds will go up to $2 per kilo. That is 200 shillings, Kenyan shillings per kilo. And that's a good profit for you as a farmer. The second most important thing in the broiler farming is if you want to start a successful broiler business, then you have to invest much in your feed. Either formulate your own feeds that is quality because with broiler chicken you have a very limited scope time scope in that there is no time for experiments there is no time for try this is not working try this is not working like for the layers for the layers you have a whole four months if you try a feed and you see it's not working you can change to another one but for broilers you only have one month and a half so you either make your own quality feed that you are assured of other people have tried it elsewhere and it has worked and if not just go and buy feed from agrovets and you can even go into negotiations with companies that are manufacturing feed and you can buy feed at wholesale price but have the correct feed so that you try to minimize on something called externalities and number three if you want to start a successful broiler farm, there's one component that most farmers ignore, almost all of them ignore, and this component is water. 99% of chicken diseases are derived from water. If you're giving your birds water that is not hygienic, water that is not quality, water that you yourself cannot take, then there are also live beings you are likely to make them susceptible to infections. And once your farm is struck by infections, if you lose a chick a day, you're losing three to four dollars a day. Remember, you bought these chicks at a cost, you fed them at a cost, you took care of them in terms of labor and gave them medication and you gave them the vitamins at a cost then this bird is almost being taken to the market and then it's dead. Nobody can consume such a carcass, you know? And that's a loss. You simply dispose it by burying it. So it's very important that you factor in that. You know what, in the poultry business, mostly in the broiler business, there are no shortcuts. Have the correct equipment. Buy the correct feeders. Buy the correct drinkers. Correct feeders minimize spillage of feed. And that is minimization of wastage of feed. The more you save on feed, the more you increase your profits. The correct drinkers minimize on water spillages. The more you minimize on water spillages, the more you make money. Because water spillages spill vitamins, spill vaccines, they create conducive, conducive environments for multiplication of bacteria, virus, viruses and all that. And this brings a problem to your farm. And if you want to succeed in the broiler business, you have to go into partnerships. Not even partnerships as such, I'm trying to get the right word. Mm. You have to do something like more of a contract. You have to have a definite market. Like where you are assured of supplying. It's better the prices change according to the season, yes, but you are assured of this hotel A, this school B, and this hospital C are my markets. You enter into an agreement with them, you'll be supplying to them this number of bars at this time. And you also, my subscriber, you then have to be consistent, you know, be consistent so that you cannot lose your markets. All right? Very important. No shortcuts. Get the correct types of structures. If you build the correct type of structure, you also minimize on things like heat stress. You minimize on things like much stress being brought in by cold. 
during brooding and also you can control things like pneumonia you know these are the minor things that we ignore because you simply want to build a shed just like a garage for your birds and you say hey i can keep chicken at my backyard or at, at the garage a and you look at it as a business you see what you're trying to, to 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 look at mostly is minimize on mortalities and ensure the correct weight gain so that we can ensure that we are in market at the right time saving on a cost and maximizing on our profit and also producing a product at the lowest cost also producing a, co a product that has got less and less less much of antibiotics medication and all that you know giving your market something that is quality in a nutshell there is no shortcut in the broiler business in a nutshell there is no gambling in a nutshell in the business in the broiler business it's either you know or you don't know and if you don't know then get the right channels and get the information so that you can do something that you're sure of put your right money you put your money at the right place and get 